Okay, well, for starters, uh, I had this old pump. Um, didn't really work out for the project that I needed it for. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try it out for this one. It looks like it'd be a good size. Probably elevate the water enough up to uh, kind of disturb the duckweed. And then that way it'll grow pretty well. Um, kind of disturb it to cause the uh, germination. That's the word. That's a pretty cheap filter. I don't even know if it's going to work. But my plan is at some point to put some goldfish maybe in here to control the mosquitoes. Um, so we're going to need some kind of filtration device. Um, but definitely we at least, at bare minimum, need something to move the water around. Um, so the reason I'm using this pump is because it, I just need it to disturb the water. And so basically we're going to hook in the aerator right here. And then it's going to shoot up the water right here with the air bubbles. It's going to disturb the duckweed and it's going to move throughout the container, causing it to cycle through the light, which you can't see at the moment because of the angle of the sun. However, looks like it should work out pretty well. We'll see. Here we have some water that was uh, previously harvested from our snail and shrimp tank. Um, it should have some nutrients that should help, you know, boost the growth of the duckweed. So it's pretty much an experiment. So we'll just try this out. We'll just pour this in there, see how it goes. It's a little dirty. Not the uh, nicest water in the world. Spilled a little there. Try to swish it around a little bit. Get all the nasty stuff, make sure that comes out, because that's what we're looking for. Good. Not the cleanest water in the world, however, we're using the nutrients that's probably built in here to go ahead and grow the rest of the duckweed. Now we have the filter slash pump in here. We're going to go ahead and move forward. Uh, we had to do a little bit of editing due to the fire trucks in the background. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug this in. We're going to see how, uh, about how far this shoots up here. Got a little bit of tangle. Ready to go. You ready? Perfect. I was afraid it was going to shoot up like a middle school water fountain. Alright, we got that going. Alright, so the next step would be for the air pump. So what we're going to go ahead and now and do is go ahead and hook up a air tube to the tip of the filter spout. Uh, basically, you just go put it right here on this particular model at least and it's going to bubble out as the outward flow comes out it's going to cause bubbles to come out it's going to help in the, the breeding of the plants and if we do decide to put any fish in here later such as goldfish or any kind of small uh, filter feeder type fish to help with the production then that way they will provide the action to them as well and so basically, like with how it was before, we're going to go ahead and upcycle something and use it again. This is a air pump for, I believe, a beta tank setup, which is a very minimal uh, airflow, so it should be very small. So we're just going to go ahead and hook this up out here and just connect it directly to the line right here. And then we'll plug it in. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in both and let's see how they run. Alright, this one's going on the bottom then. Alright, the air's going. Let's go for the filter. Here we go. Nice little fountain there. We have to maybe tuck that away now that this it needs to be pretty because we're just setting up to breed the plants. So, it's working pretty well. It's going to disturb the duckweed nicely so they'll be moving throughout the container as the sun is shining down and rotates throughout the day. And also, it's, it's very important for the germination of the plants to have a constant aeration as well as a flow. Basically, we're just going to go ahead and collect because that seems to be where it grows the most just due to the, uh, the substrate. And we're just going to collect it 
right here and just kind of just be real gentle with it. I figured a fork would be best to go ahead and put it in there. And we'll just go ahead and collect more and more. And we're going to put that in our, our new uh, duckweed uh, farm. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to introduce the duckweed that we just harvested from the tanks upstairs. We're going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, just casually introduce this here. And let's not do it too close to the filter, actually. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit farther out here so that nothing gets sucked in there. Um, but I don't think that'll be the case just due to the depth of the filter uh, at this time. Um, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on it day by day to see how much actually evaporates out of here. I mean, we are in Florida. We're southwest Florida. Um, so there's going to be some evaporation we're going to have to really keep an eye on. Um, and then eventually <clears throat> we're going to have to really check on it because we're going to... It's going to be mosquito season, it's going to be summer, so basically the end goal is we're going to end up having some maybe goldfish or filter feeders in here to go ahead and suck up the, the mosquito larva so that it's not an issue out here as we grow these plants. Um, so we'll go ahead and introduce that. Um, I've also had this going on for a little bit. Um, I have a little bit, they have uh, longer roots here, um, if that's what you want to call them, tentacles. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and dump this in here as well. Uh, I've been growing it basically upstairs with all the other ones, so we're just going to introduce that there. We'll, see, we'll just see how it goes. If we can get it out of here. She don't want to go, Captain. There we go. Oh, there she goes. Just check up back on this. We'll go ahead and give it some nutrients, but hopefully there's plenty in there from the you know the excess water from the snail shrimp tank that we have upstairs. So hopefully that'll sustain it for a little bit and we'll just go ahead and move forward from there.